Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are going to explore serial killer Sergei Alexandrovich Golovkin, also known as the Fisher and the Boa. He was the last person to be executed in Russia. Born on the 26th of November 1959 in the capital of the then Soviet Union, Moscow, Golovkin had an alcoholic father while his mother was described as a quiet and ordinary woman. Born with a congenital defect in his sternum, he had numerous health issues in his childhood, including bronchitis, which is an infection of the main airways of the lungs, causing them to become irritated and inflamed, intestinal infections, which is an infection of the gastrointestinal tract, enteritis, which is an inflammation of the small intestine, aneurysis, the inability to control urination, and dyspepsia, discomfort in the abdomen. Growing up, Golovkin was quiet, shy, reserved, and a loner. Armin Sergeyevich Grigorian, who is pictured to the right, is a founder of the band Crematorium and went to school with Golovkin, who is pictured while in school Bottom right in his class photo, Grigorian described Golovkin as strong, with a stoop and pimples in high school. He was not at all interested in girls or anything at all. Another classmate, commenting on Golovkin, noted that girls liked the guys well dressed and passionate about music, and he, Golovkin, was stooped, pimpled, and no one paid attention to him. Graduating with a silver medal, Golovkin then attended the Russian State Agrarian University, Moscow Timiraisev Agricultural Academy. While attending university, Golovkin was beaten by a group of thugs. As a result, Golovkin began to have sadistic fantasies which he would masturbate to. Golovkin began fantasizing about cracking down on the group who would beat him up, raping them and killing them. His ideal victim was a thin, dark-haired boy, no older than 15, who was sociable and adventurous, the opposite of Golovkin at that age. After graduating from university in 1982, Golovkin worked at a hypodrome and then as a livestock specialist at Moscow Stud Farm No. 1. For his success in the development of horse breeding, on the 11th of December 1989, Golovkin received a silver medal at the Exhibition of Economic Achievements of the USSR. Unbeknownst to everyone except the recipient, Golovkin, at the time of receipt, was a serial killer. In the summer of 1984, Golovkin attempted to rape and murder a boy who managed to escape. In April 1986, Golovkin left the train at Katuri Station in Moscow Slomensky and went into the woodland. There he met 15-year-old Andrei Pavlov, who he threatened with a knife, dragged into a forest, raped, strangled, and then committed necrophilia. In July 1986, Golovkin found 12-year-old Andrei Gulyaev in Ugumovo, with Gulyaev having stolen goods from the nearby Zvezdny Pioneer Camp, a young pioneer camp. The Young Pioneers was a mass youth organization of the Soviet Union, similar to the Scouts, for children aged between 9 and 15, which existed between 1922 and the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991. A Young Pioneer Group was the name of a summer camp for young pioneers during summer and winter school holidays. Threatening Gulyaev with a knife, Golovkin tied him up, led him into the forest, raped him, strangled him, and then mutilated the body, including genital mutilation, before decapitating him, cutting the abdominal cavity, and removing the internal organs. After the murders in 1986 in Dimitrov and Odinstovo districts, police visited the Moscow Stud Farm No. 1 where Golovkin worked, but he was not spoken to by authorities as it was believed that the killer was a local. Working throughout different areas of Moscow meant that police had no idea that the murders were interlinked and that they were dealing with a serial killer. Four days later, in the Odinstovo district in Moscow Oblast in West Moscow, near where Gulyaev 
was murdered, the corpse of a 16-year-old boy was found with 35 stab wounds, the body had been dismembered. Golovkin was arrested for this murder and pleaded not guilty, but with insufficient evidence he was not charged for the crime and a free man. Whether or not he murdered this boy remains a mystery to this day. In 1988, Golovkin purchased a beige Vaz 2103, a compact sedan car produced in the Soviet Union from 1972 until 1984. He utilized his Vaz 2103 in 1989 to murder a third young boy by coaxing him into his car. In 1990, Utilising a garage 500 metres from the home of the first president of Russia, Boris Yeltsin, Golovkin turned the cellar underneath the garage into his personalised torture chamber. Between August 1990 and September 1992, Golovkin killed a further eight boys, frequently two at the same time, and subjected them to numerous acts of torture. This included raping the boys, cutting off their nose and ears, severing their heads, stabbing their corpses, cutting out internal and genital organs, as well as dismembering the corpse, cutting out soft tissues before roasting them on a blowtorch and eating them. In September 1992, Golovkin killed and raped three boys at once. Golovkin went to the school which the boys attended and took them away under the guise that they had committed a robbery. On the 5th of October 1992, three weeks after the murder of the three boys, the decaying and mutilated corpses of the boys were found by mushroom pickers. Once identified, the police went to the boys' school, with one student suggesting that the individual who took the boys away resembled Golovkin. Surveillance was organised, and on the 19th of October 1992, Golovkin's VAZ-2103 was crashed into deliberately by two officers in civilian clothes. A brawl was orchestrated between the three men, with both of the undercover cops brought into a police station by the police, with Golovkin brought in as well. Confronted over the serial killings, Golovkin denied all guilt and was put into solitary confinement. On the 20th of October 1992, Golovkin was interrogated and only confessed to his final three murders. On the 21st of October 1992, Golovkin's garage was searched and in the cellar, Moscow police found a baby bath with burned layers of skin, blood and cloves. Upon hearing this news, Golovkin confessed to 11 murders, although it is believed that he killed 13, or possibly more, boys. The remains of all but one of the 11 boys were found, with Golovkin having thrown away the skull of the boy who was never found. Golovkin was declared sane, but showed signs of schizophrenia. On the 19th of October 1994, Golovkin was sentenced to death and his request for clemency was rejected by President Boris Yeltsin on the 26th of November 1995, which coincided with Golovkin's 36th birthday. He was executed at Butiraka Prison in the Tviskoy district of central Moscow on the 2nd of August 1996, the last individual executed in Russia. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.